Let's get more on tonight's game with Bayern, Liverpool, Man City and German midfield with German midfield player uh, Didi Haman. Uh, Didi, a very, very, very good morning, Didi. Morning, Didi. <laughs> morning, Alan. Morning, Andy. How are you doing, pal? All good? All, all good, thank you. Looking forward to tonight. Oh, two great games, Didi. Didi, let's mm. start with Bayern. I don't know what's going on with Bayern this year. No fans as well in the Emirates. It's going to be tough mm. for them, Didi. Yeah, uh, the fans is, is one thing, obviously, there's nothing they can do about it, but the, the team and the club really is in turmoil for a few weeks or a few months now. Uh, they lost to a promoted side on Saturday, Heidenham, winning 2-0 at halftime, end up getting beat 3-2. Incredible game, and um, I think what's been clear over the last few weeks and months with, with Tuchel, he, he's lost the team, they're not united, and uh, everything you've got to say points towards Arsenal. Um, and maybe that's the only danger, or the, the biggest danger, that you can't see any other outcome than um, Arsenal going through in, over these two legs. Yeah, with with the likes of Muller and, and Leroy Zane, Musiala as well, all in support of Harry Kane, they do have people in those areas, Didi, that can hurt you. And, and again, one, part of the excitement of this stage of the Champions League is the unpredictable nature and those, those crazy five, ten-minute spells mm. when teams can score goals out of nothing. And they've got people that can do that. No, 100% Andy, and, and, and obviously that's a danger, and, and, and Arsenal has to be, and they will be aware, but you know, this is a different Arsenal team, because Arsenal got a dreadful record against Bayern Munich over the last 10 or 15 years, uh, but I think this is a different Arsenal team, it's uh, matured yeah. a lot over the last two seasons, and, and the thing with Bayern Munich is, you mentioned these players, uh, Nabry is back after injury, Coman is uh, uh, coming back, uh, Sani, I don't think he scored for about 25 games now. Whoa. So he started the, the season really well. He did start uh, he's well, gone, yeah. Yeah, he, he's gone off the boil big time. But the, but the thing with Bayern Munich is, is as soon as they get a setback within the game, they fall apart. Right. And I think this is where Arsenal has to be a bit... Be, be, because there might be a time where Bayern Munich is on top for a few minutes, but they have to they have to stick at it. And if there's a setback for the Bayern Munich team at the moment, they do fall apart. And I think this is a huge, huge, huge opportunity for Arsenal. If they don't knock them out over these two legs, they may not see a, a semi-final for the foreseeable future. What about then uh, any more, any latest news on who could take over at Bayern? Well, let's talk about Rangnick. I think he kind of ruled himself out. He's going to the Euros now with the, with the Austrian national team. Let's talk about Nagelsmann coming back. Um, I'm not sure this is the wisest choice to bring somebody back who's been sacked about 18 months ago. Mm. Um, and I think they're struggling. I think this is part of the problem as well because there's so many people talking or wanting to have an, an input in, into who's coming in and they just couldn't decide on one. And uh, Tuchel, I think it's been decided now at least five or six weeks that he's going. They still haven't got anybody in place. And I think it's a bit different with Liverpool because obviously if, if Liverpool comes calling, uh, you would think that the managers come. I think with Bayern Munich, the way they're going at the moment, there's a lot of uncertainty, and I don't think it'll be that easy to find a, a top class manager for no. next season. I, I mean, I was someone was telling me the other day, Dejerbi is a name, obviously, that's been been touted around at Bayern as well. But clearly, um, clearly, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure he's going to be at Brighton next season. Uh, Roberto De Gerbi, I'm, I'm not convinced of that. Um, would he be a, a good fit for uh, for Bayern, Didi, do you think? Well, he's done well at Brighton, but as as you know, it's it's different managing a, a team uh, like Liverpool or Bayern Munich. And I'm not saying he can't do it. Uh, for one, you've got a language barrier, even though his English, I don't think, is the best. And he's, he's done well at Brighton, but they've gone a bit off the boil. You know, they've they've done really well last season with him this year. Uh, it's a bit more quiet. So, um, yeah, I think it's an option. He wouldn't be my first choice. Mm. Didi, how do you see the other blockbuster game, Real Madrid against Manchester City? How do you see that going? Uh, I just think uh, I just think City is too strong uh, over the two legs. I think City is a team in a one-off game. I think you can beat them. Um, I think over the two legs, it'll be mighty tough for Real Madrid because they've been quite fortunate against Leipzig, you've got to say. Shouldn't have won in Leipzig and they've been under the cost in Madrid as well. So, um yeah, a fantastic game, but over the two legs, I think it'll be mighty tough to beat them. Uh, yeah. And, and Didi, um, also, just uh, Andy and I were talking earlier about Germany, the Euros. G the German national side's picking up now, getting good results. <laughs> well, you sound like a German, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were getting knocked out in the first round uh, about six weeks ago. Now we won two games. Now everybody thinks, 
we're going to win the Euros. I think you've got to take it with that. Well, I didn't I say that, Didi, to... but I, I, you know, I yeah. can see uh, well, you know, you're, you're, you're beginning to peak at the right time. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'll take it with a pinch of salt. We played France. Uh, it was a it was a friendly for them. They they didn't have anything to prove. Our lads did have an awful lot to prove. I don't think Mbappe broke sweat in the ninety minutes or the sixty minutes he's played. Um, so yes, we beat them. We did okay. We did okay against the Netherlands. Beat them, uh, even though you know they had a very good spell early in the second half where they could have gone ahead. Um, things look a little bit brighter, shall we say? But it's a long way to go. I think once the Euro start, I think they'll still be at least two, probably three or four teams better equipped than us. Yeah, and I I find it hard to to look past England and France. Didi, just just finally tonight, Harry Kane does he score tonight against Arsenal? His his, look, his record against them in in those North Island derbies has been brilliant. <laughs> yeah, but the, but but the team is not is not uh, doing too well at the moment. Obviously, he relies on the support he's uh, he's gonna get. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him that he that he scores. But end of the day, they want to go to the next round, and I can't really see that. But uh, he's got a lot of goals, but. The way it's looking at the moment, the moment he's uh, coming out empty-handed at the end of the season, that, that certainly wasn't uh, the reason he came to Munich. No. Uh, did he just quick, a quick one on the Premier Liverpool? You know, uh, uh, they, they had the chances to win it against United, didn't they? Mm. Uh, they dropped two points. How do you see the running, Didi? I still fancy them uh, because there was nothing wrong with the with the play. They obviously should have won the game. Then again, you know, I'm not sure about the penalty that's been given for Liverpool. Um, if you look at the run-in, it's probably, you know, City probably fancy the chances as well. But then again, you can't rule Arsenal out. But I just think that the clock factor that everybody wants to uh, send him off with a with a, with a a perfect uh, farewell, hopefully with uh, three trophies, uh, it may uh, lead toward, towards a Liverpool uh, Premier League win. I still go with uh, Liverpool. Uh, did he enjoy tonight's game? Yes, Thank thanks, you. Did nice did to talk you. again. Uh, Pleasure, there guys. Bye-bye. Didi, Didi Haman there. I was there at Wembley when he scored. Was you? Yeah, that game? Was, there, yeah. was that Kevin's last game? Uh, yes, it was. was wasn't yeah, it? yeah. It was that one. Yeah, wet, it was a wet night, if I remember. It, yes, belting down the rain, and then, like, literally, the, right after the end of the game, Kevin yeah. said, That's me, I'm done, didn't he? Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.